All right, so let's finish up here with uh, 1.7 on uh, solving the absolute value equations and inequalities. Um, you are a quality control inspector at a bowling pin company, and a regular pin must weigh between 50 ounces and 58 ounces. So we want to write the absolute value equation described. So we know it has to be between. So between means we're talking about a sandwich. So since we're talking about a sandwich, um, we're trying to set up um, what the absolute value could be on both sides. We know what the low is, 50, and the high is 58. So what I'm doing here is I'm finding the average. That's the point here. I'm going to try to find the average. So I take the the low pin, which is 50, and I take the high pin, which is 58. I add them together, divide by 2, and find out the middle is 54. So the distance between each one is 4, right? between 50 and 54 is 4, between 58 and 54 is 4. So this is the tolerance. The tolerance is 4, is basically the point that I'm getting at here. So with the tolerance being 4, okay, um, we want to write an equation with this. And basically what it's saying is, how can I set it up to solve this equation? Well, here is the absolute value um, inequality because the tolerance is 4. We're trying to figure out how can I get that tolerance. If I plugged in a 50 here, or if I plugged in a 58, would that work? So we solve each of these. We're trying to figure out how do we reject the pin. So I separate these. Remember when it's greater than, you write down exactly what you have, which is right here. Then you write down exactly what you have, but you flip it. So I add 54 to both sides, both of those to solve for x. I end up with x is greater than 58, and x is less than 50. Because keep in mind, we're trying to reject. Okay, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to reject um, a pin. A good pin weighs in between 50 and 58. But if it weighs more than 58, we reject it, which is right here. If it weighs less than 50, we reject it. So I need to actually set up an equation to solve this. No. Just saying, how could we reject it? If we know it has to be in between 50 and 58, and anything less than 50, right? Anything less than 50 would be rejected. And up here, anything greater than 50, 8 would be rejected. Okie dokie, come on. Son, I'd like you to step away from this vector and get into a different coordinate pronto. There's no access for you in this quadrant. All right, so there's your homework. Um, this is the last section in Chapter 6 seriously recommend you start or what am I saying chapter 6 this is the last section in chapter 1 in uh, algebra 2 so what I want you to do is I want you after you do this homework we have the chapter 1 review okay go through the review sections in your book take your time and take a look okay see what you have okay that's the point there take a look summarize everything see what you have if you need studying techniques um, we can go over those studying techniques. Uh, I will have some examples that you can take a look at as well for assistance. But until that point, um, just do the homework, and if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to email me.